So it's a huge night for us in an RM Bevan Health Board. Uh, tonight we're opening the Grange University Hospital Emergency Department. So we're going live at two o'clock in the morning, which is about an hour from now. So this really is, it's been a work in progress for many years now. And for the people of Gwent, we really need a purpose-built facility where we can manage really sick, really badly injured patients. And this is a state-of-the-art facility that's uh, probably the best place in Wales now to be managed if you're critically ill or seriously injured. So I'm feeling really excited about this opening. It's gonna be a huge event for myself, for all the staff that work in the health board, for the emergency department staff, and most of all, for our patients. The benefit it's going to bring is absolutely huge and I think we're going to see much better patient outcomes and a much better patient experience. So we're all massively excited. The benefits for patients are going to be uh, absolutely enormous. So access to really specialist care when they need it. So when you're ill, when you're badly injured, having specialists available here who can manage your condition very efficiently, very quickly, with access to amazing resources in a fantastic building. Uh, it's really hard to describe just how much this is going to benefit patients. There's been a huge amount of preparation going on over the last few weeks and months, and that's from all the emergency department staff, and I think it's fair to say all the staff throughout the health board. We've been working literally round the clock to get this place ready, to make sure it's absolutely good to go when we open in just over an hour's time. But it's been a labour of love for all of us. I think it's something we've wanted for a very long time and the drive and the passion to get this as good as we possibly can has been a privilege to be part of. Compared to the Royal Gwent and Neville Hall sites where we've worked on previously, this is a really modern facility. Uh, it's much, much more spacious. So we've got access to top level care and the facilities really are incredible. Uh, everything is brand new. Uh, the space to work in is light. We have windows, which we didn't really have at the Royal Gwent site. Um, so those little things just make a huge difference. And clinicians have been involved in this from the very start. So we've been able to design what we know works and leave out what we know doesn't work. So it really is clinician designed, uh, which has been a huge, huge benefit. So tonight we will be opening our brand new hospital to the public. Our emergency department will be opening in an hour's time at 2 a.m. on the 17th of November. Um, and we're all looking forward to, to opening. There's been a lot of preparation by all of the staff, um, everyone involved, every different discipline um, that works here. Everyone's worked throughout the clock um, over several months really to get, get us up and running and opening. Staff are really excited about the new environment. We've had a lot of clinical input into our area as well. So the staff are thoroughly looking forward to it and, and ready to greet our new patients. This a &E, compared to our traditional previous models, is we will accept all of the critically ill patients, so anyone that needs 999 emergencies. Um, our minor injury services will be continuing at our local general hospitals, so Royal Gwent, Neville Hall and Asperty Astrid Vower. But there won't be a minor injuries unit on this site. Um, we will be concentrating on critically ill patients that need specialist care. Definitely, definitely the best A&E department and uh, just all the staff on the wards really, without the other staff on the wards as well, obviously we wouldn't be able to flow through our emergency department so everyone's worked really hard and they're all really excited to, to open in.